This is the real Tom Rose, and we're solving a geometry problem. It doesn't look like a geometry problem at first blush because it's all text, but there are a couple of clues. So we have coordinate plane, uh, circle, and also they're dealing with coordinate pairs, A, B, and X. And whenever you're dealing with geometry problems, you want to have a picture. So if they don't provide a picture, you should draw one. So let's go ahead and give ourselves a set of axes. I'm going to try to draw this big so we have plenty of space to draw our circles on. And once you've got your axes drawn, I'm going to go ahead and start filling in the points that we know. So for example, point A is at 3, 1. I'm just going to eyeball this. 2, 3, let's go up 1. 3, 1. Um, also, we want the point B, which is at 6, 4. So this is 4, 5, 6. And let's go up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And we also know that the center of the circle is at x equals 6, 1. So 6 and 1. Here's that center of the circle. Here's x. And one of the things we know about circles is that they are, they are symmetrical. So if you have a point which is three away from the center and another one which is 90 degrees off, which is also three from the center, you know that you have found points on that circle. So let's draw, let's draw a circle. All right, I'll put new points now in red. So here are the points we have so far. We've got A, B, and the center. And we're looking for more points which are on this circle. A couple that we can bank on. And let's see if any of these are options in the answer choices. The point 6, negative 2. Right, how did I figure that out? I went over six to the center of the circle. Instead of going up three from one, two, three, four, I went down three from one, zero, negative one, negative two, and over to this point here. And it turns out six negative two is actually on our answer list. So you can go ahead and pick that answer and be done. Other points that could have been answer choices might have been three over to the right. And that point would have been seven, eight, nine, one. And here again, we're using the properties of a circle being symmetrical. We know the center and two points on it, so we can figure out at least two other points on it fairly easy just by using the symmetry and by counting.